Hey everyone, welcome back to Chad's Home. Today I have a very special guest, the incredibly talented young man who just released his new EP, Color, Montebello Zone, Katsuoso. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? How's it going? It's going well. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. So of close course. by. Um, but yeah, I want to jump right in with the Color EP because it's so good and it has such good vibes, such good energy. It's so fun. It feels like a, like a summer dance party or something. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you're in like a really good mood, like writing. That's it what I was aiming for. <laughs> kind of like the summer EP. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's perfect timing for sure. Um, so yeah. What was your approach with this one from like a production standpoint versus pastel? I feel like with this one, I had a lot more like projects to choose from. Cause I was just experimenting with like new gear and stuff. So I had to like pick which one I liked out of all of them. And I feel like with this one, these stood out the most to me, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So did you make them mostly just by yourself? Like in your, yeah, I, okay. I make them in my room and then I, s I bring them over to my studio in East LA and I have my, uh, my band kind of like chime in on it and let okay. me know what they like, what they dislike or, you know, give me, um, pointers i guess yeah yeah and then uh my my friend david he always lays down the the bass for all the tracks so nice shout out d-lo wherever he's at <laughs> it was his birthday yesterday so d-lo if you're watching this happy birthday man love you happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> uh, um do what uh so do you play like a ton of different instruments or are you mostly doing everything on keys like yeah i mean i play like i guess the basics in a band you know like bass guitar the kit and keys Got so it. i try to mess around a lot more on the keys with synths and stuff just to get different types of textures and sounds got it got it yeah what's your favorite song on the ap i would have to say retail therapy that's like one of my favorite on yeah there. yeah so i wrote that about how i met my girlfriend oh cool <laughs> yeah. very sweet What's your name again? Didn't mean to catch you by surprise You said, hey, do you have my size? And slowly I just melt inside Could you wait till tomorrow? Girl, I'll find a way After all, I want to make your day So leave me your number I'll give you a call Don't want us to have to end this way But baby Why'd you have to tell me The only words I wanna hear I'm losing myself completely Pretending to be someone else With the EP, the cover is like really cool. It's made up of a bunch of different photos. What was the idea behind all that? I was thinking kind of like those, <laughs> you know, those puzzles that you get like during Christmas time. It's like it's missing one square. And you have to like align it together. Right, right, right. Yeah. I oh, was nice. kind of aiming for that kind of vibe, but like with kind of a late 90s feel Okay. in terms of artwork. So that came up. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of inspired by past decades right like yeah i love 80s it. 90s yeah totally yeah. 20s <laughs> just all <laughs> <laughs> everywhere it's all over there did you just listen to like everything growing up and it just kind of stuck with you like your parents music yeah or? i feel like growing up there's always uh i was always listening to just different types of music from different um 
I guess decades, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you sing in Spanish on a couple tracks. Um, when you're writing, do you know, like, ahead of time, like, oh, I want to sing in Spanish in this one, so you start writing Spanish lyrics, or does it just come out? I feel like it just comes out. Like, I, I'd be writing, just having the song in a loop, and I'm, you know, freestyling in English, but I'm like, I'm not really feeling this, so I'll switch it up to Spanish, and then I feel it a lot more, so I get into it more, and it's easier to write when I'm really feeling it, so I just mm. go with the flow. Yeah, nice. Was there, like... Uh, a certain theme you wanted to tackle or like a certain message around the whole EP? I just wanted to eat, I just wanted the EP to kind of have like a, like an LA feel, you know, mm. it's kind of like representing my city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Um, the, uh, the last track, it was like came together because of a Tecate. Yeah. Thing? Yeah. What was the, yeah. What was that whole story? Uh, they hit us up and, um, they asked me to write a, like a love letter to LA. Mm. and yeah i wrote them a little demo and they loved it and they had me come into the studio and we had uh, mariachi come in and we just got down in the studio and tr- pushed it out like in a week nice. yeah it was done Dang. yeah was that cool We're working with it other was so much fun yeah i yeah. worked with uh ulises from the band kinky dude he's such a sweet guy knows what he's doing it's That's so much awesome. fun in the studio with him yeah yeah so because most of the stuff yeah like you said you you do a lot of it just on your own like in your bedroom so is it a, a whole different experience like working with somebody in the studio or have you even done that before yeah i've, I've done it a couple times but i feel like that's why i like working by myself because sometimes some producers like suppress your ideas or they mm. try not to even like you know tackle them right. so when i'm alone it's like no one can tell me what to do i just if i'm gonna spend an hour or two on fucking getting this certain part right then i'm gonna do it you know right when like Uli says it was such a great experience because he would um any little idea that i would have he'd be like dude jump in the booth like just lay it in there even if it nice. sounds dumb or whatever so we did that a lot and that's that's how i ended up whistling on that song and nice. i think at the end you hear like a bottle opening or there's a part where we're all just having a conversation like if we're at a party and you can hear that if you really like listen through your headphones yeah. and you were doing that just like it was just ideas that we had or, yeah. and okay. he was just like just jump in there and lay nice. it on that's dope this next song is called los angeles lindo y querido despacio pasa el tiempo cuando estoy sin ti Qué suave me la paso ahí Tu hermosura con tanto valor Sin camisas porque da calor Cuerpos dorados nadando por el mar Solo para tener que hacer Con mil memorias no vuelvo a encontrar Espero a volverte a ver Y sé que no hay nadie más De ti nunca quiero separar Y sé que no hay nadie más Nunca nadie puede comparar Paro, pom, the city of A you take me back the city of angels won't you take me back yeah so when you bring it to the live stage your your live set's kind of crazy you have like seven people right it's six of us in total six of it us? used to be seven but we had to cut okay cut yeah so six i mean yeah, that's got to be tough to like learn all the songs or like translate them like into the live space right yeah. so like how did, how's that process uh it is a bit difficult but my bandmates kind of they listen to the songs and then they'll already have an idea of what we want to perform so it's just a matter of all right you're gonna do this here you're gonna do this here mm-hmm. you know telling like, giving everyone their role but um but no, it's, it's a great experience because they're all like my best friends. So right. it's just a great time every time. Yeah. I know. I saw that. you. It was like friends from high school, right? And family. Yeah. And this. yeah. That's crazy. That's it is. no like, uh, 
I don't know. I feel like there's always stories of just like best friends forming bands and then like everybody hates each other like two years in. But like you guys are all good. No, yeah, we're all good. Um, young Gatita, <laughs> she came into the band a little later, but uh, apparently she's always been a fan of our of our music. So once she jumped on board, it just felt like she was just one of the bros, you know? That's cool. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty rare that you find like that experience, you know, just like your friends and all great musicians and like being able to stick through so it's cool totally. that the and they're all super creative so it just makes everything a lot better a lot yeah. more fun you know oh for sure um so in the beginning were you just like playing by yourself like playing shows solo or yeah well i was never like planning on uh actually performing my music it was mm -hmm. more of like i'll probably be doing like karaoke kind of thing where i just play my <laughs> music and sing on right, stage right. but it's i don't know i saw a couple artists do that and i it didn't really catch my attention so i needed to yeah. form a little a little group got it <laughs> yeah i hear you and i mean that group has like gone from what you guys started playing like backyards and stuff right to then yeah tropicalia and opening for tyler and brock hampton and like all these big shows yeah it's um weird. it's crazy what uh what do you think has been like the best live experience well we just went on our first u.s tour this year so that was like a eye-opening experience but I don't know, we've had so many great shows. I feel like Tropicalia last year was one of my favorite. It was the first time I was on a rotating stage. So it, was, oh, damn. it was just a trip. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like all the shows that we've played have been really cool. Yeah. So for people uh, who will never see a rotating stage behind the scenes, <laughs> like, what's that? what's that all about? You just like are all set up behind. Dude, yeah, we're set up, but it's like everything, they're just pushing time. So... Like for this past Tropicalia, my guitarist was in the restroom and the stage was already spinning, dude. <laughs> it had began spinning. And I was like, Rudy, I, we're all yelling like, get the fuck over here, you know? But he jumped on stage and it's rotating and we start it right away. And yeah, it was yeah. cool. <laughs> A little nerve wracking, but it was cool. That's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. Was that your first like big festival? Uh, No, but it was like the most people that I've had watching us got it at a festival so yeah. that was crazy like yeah you don't really know because the stage is real so you're like fuck i hope people are there i hope someone's there you know <laughs> and then it, like once we got to the front it was like oh shit and people were singing <laughs> along it was, it was a great time that's amazing god that's gotta be such a trip just like waiting in the back <laughs> rotating Dude, like hoping people are there <laughs> that's awesome I'm, I'm glad you got to experience that that's cool um so yeah so now that things are obviously halted touring wise are you doing like live streams and stuff or are you guys just kind of holding out until the next like when we're able to tour again yeah i feel like i've this is the most that i've been working on music like continuously yeah. i guess because before i would you know take breaks but now it's it's just i'm in my room a lot so i'm able to just work on music all the time which is cool because nice. i have a lot more projects now to choose from and nice. work on yeah yeah, so do you make just, like, a ton of music and then you have to, like, whittle it down to which ones you want to actually focus on to release? Yeah, or kind of the ones that I, I feel more, you know, that I'm having a good time to. Mm -hmm. If I'm not feeling it, I, I don't really, like, work on it too much. Got it. But, yeah, which is actually kind of a bad thing because I always end up having all these unfinished projects. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but when I, like, invest into one project, I can invest into it, you know. I make yeah. it sound the way I want it to. No, for sure. Do you, uh, who do you like vet your music with first? Like, like uh, once you finish a song and you're like, oh, I think this <laughs> is good. Who do I, who uh, do you I go show to it to my best play? friend. Uh, he's a guitarist in my band, Rudy. Oh, nice. Yeah. I show him everything before. Like, you know, I think it's trash. I'm like, Hey dude, I made this. What do you think of it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get that honest feedback. <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah. Or my girlfriend. I w I'd show her, but she always says everything I make is fire. So it's like, <laughs> are you really being real with me? You know, like, <laughs> right. but she's, she's my girlfriend. So. Yeah. I trust her. <laughs> you gotta be supportive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in the beginning, I think I saw like an interview or something that you like started Katsuo so just for like your stoner friends. You just like made a song and wanted to put it out there. Yeah, it was a song that I released on 420. It was like my first ever Katsuo also release. But yeah, the whole point of that was just to have a song to play while, while you're, you know, smoking up that day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And I mean, so did you actually like really want to go for it and like become a musician back then or did it like get good reception so you're like oh shit maybe i should actually do this it wasn't something that i was 
like I've always wanted it, but I always knew it felt like unattainable. So mm. it was kind of just like a side thing where, you know, if something happens, it happens. If not, then Got I'll it. just be a sociology professor and yeah. not, <laughs> you know, not make music for the rest of my life or something. Yeah. But, uh, but no, it got picked up by people and people started sharing it and I got a bunch of good feedback. So I ended up just pushing for it, you know, yeah. putting my music out there. Oh, for sure. Mm. So what kept you motivated in like those kind of early days when like, I feel like that's when the, the struggle's the toughest, <laughs> like trying to get yeah, your totally. first few hundred listeners. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, there were a lot of artists coming up at the time too. So I feel like that was also inspiring, you know, cause if, if they can do it, it's like anyone, anyone can do it if right. you really put in the work, you know? So I did my research on trying to market the most out of just my phone. Cause that's all I had. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that helped put me in front of a lot of people too. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and what was like, I don't know. Was there any like particularly hard thing that you maybe like didn't know that musicians had to go through or artists had to go through? And then you came to it and you're like, damn, this part kind of sucks about being an artist. Damn, that's a, that's a hard question. I mean, you, you know, just as much as you get a lot of love, you as well get a lot of hate too. You have a lot of haters right. and stuff. So sometimes those trolls kind of, will try to get you down right you just gotta stick to it you know yeah not pay attention to that shit no. yeah it's freaking tough dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> also like eating on tour <laughs> oh, yeah. you realize like you end up eating really shitty on tour you know <laughs> yeah that's yeah. why you gotta really pay attention to what you're eating when you're out there for like a month because oh, if not sure. you'll end up eating fucking gas station food all the time <laughs> right it's just not not the move yeah your body can't like operate off of that oh fuel. no yeah it's the worst <laughs> <laughs> so the tour was fun though the oh first. yeah totally yeah. yeah we weren't prepared so it was cool nice nice all six of you yeah damn yep. just like like one van or like a yeah we got like a sprinter van nice it was really cool damn we were really cramped in there we should have gotten like a u-haul to attach it but <laughs> we worked <laughs> we worked with it <laughs> nice that's cool was the i imagine la is your where like most of the fans are or is there like another city that welcomes yeah really kind of like la and like chicago oh cool and new york it's like the main metropolitan cities i guess got it yeah yeah did, and so you so you made it across the entire country yeah we did that's uh, crazy i forgot how many shows 20 something shows damn in like 30 days <laughs> wow it, it was it was cool it was quite did an your voice give out dude oh man i had it we we're playing a sold out show in phoenix and i was sick uh, and i was about to say like i was about to throw in the towel and be like i can't do this but my band kind of pressured me into doing it so nice. <laughs> but yeah after that i i couldn't sing for like the whole weekend oh man so bad that's tough was that when you did uh audio tree when you went through chicago oh no 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 that, uh this was that was that run but it was the beginning of that run so like the first two shows the it was a uh, phoenix arizona Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. And then Chicago was like towards the end, kind of. Got it. Got it. Dang. Is the Phoenix crowd cool? Dude, yeah, they're super cool. Yeah, nice. the Rebel Lounge is a cool spot. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so, yeah, you mentioned that like you came up with a bunch of kind of similar cool artists and that like helped keep you motivated. Do you have people that you like want to collaborate with within the LA scene or beyond? Mm, I feel like the person I really want to collaborate with is like kevin parker from tame impala oh sick <laughs> for sure <laughs> hell yeah yeah he probably fucks with the music <laughs> i don't know man i don't even think he's heard me or he doesn't even know i exist <laughs> i don't know i don't know have you seen them i've seen them like seven times yeah oh nice i've met him once cool hell dude. yeah hell yeah gotta get on some uh shows with them man 20 that's a dream yeah 2022 man <laughs> 2022. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> shows come back next year but i know looking crazy you know yeah so yeah since 2020 has been insane and like 2021 is so up in the air what are your, like your next goals just putting out more music yeah i want to release more try to put out like two eps a year or something nice you know well actually after the, my next ep i want to start working on my debut album so cool yeah hell yeah so it's pastel do you consider that like your like that was like my first ep ever EP. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Nice. That's great, dude. Um, so before we wrap it up, we got some fans who asked you some questions on Instagram. So if sure. you want to take a look at these and answer some for the fans. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 
any advice for young people who want to go into creative careers like yours? Uh, yeah, um, this is one of your most powerful tools. If you're on it all day, you know, might as well use it to push your art. Uh, keep keep going. I know there's, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of people to bring you down, or even your family members would be like, you know, you're not gonna do it. Why don't you do this instead? But just, you know, if you're confident in what you're doing and you're proud of it and you know what you got, then just push for it and push your stuff in front of people. You know, I mean, it's, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Hell yeah! Cool. It's great advice. Let's see. Is there a specific thing you can do that helps you write songs? Is there a specific thing you do? Hmm. I try to. I know it sounds kind of silly, but you got to set the vibe sometimes. You know, so like, set a set a light. Turn off your your bright lights and set like a mood light or something and nice. have your song playing and think of like a, an experience or a time in your life where you kind of just teleport yourself there and write from that perspective or write from when you were standing there, you know, um, the notes app is really cool. So <laughs> just <laughs> write your lyrics down and <laughs> hope for oh, the you best. Just write you know? lyrics on yeah. Notes. Just write on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I should get a notebook, but, <laughs> the notes app is just quick you know when you have an idea it it's like fuck i gotta get it in like just write it down yeah people yeah. say that and people say like <laughs> voice memos just oh like yeah taking tons of voice that, memos. i actually like that because you can freestyle and then later you can chop it up and pick what you liked in that song so that's yeah. actually really cool like voice memos just freestyling just saying what you want and later being like oh shit this sounded cool here let me use that here and yeah. kind of yeah, you yeah, know yeah. breaking it down Hell yeah. yeah shout out to the iphone yeah for real <laughs> right <laughs> How do you want color to be interpreted? P.S. You're the goat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want it to be an all around, you know, fun EP. Like, there's so many little stories in that small EP from different points in my life that I don't know. I wanted people to to listen and to kind of get a taste of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. What do you visualize in your head when you listen to color? Well, for me, I just think of like <laughs> when I would r when I was writing those songs, so I get put into that kind of vibe again. Mm. But um, I don't know. I visualize honestly the artwork exactly what it is. It's just a mashup of my life, just splattered there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nice, cool, yeah, uh, sweet. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted to ask you about was the "Kiss You Better" video yeah uh where was that was that your place no that's my friend's place oh cool yeah he lives with his friends and he was like hey dude let's shoot a music video for kiss nice. you better nice. at my place and i was like hell yeah <laughs> and i pulled up and it was a bunch of like it, it just an antiques everywhere like someone was auctioning off that house and all the stuff was still in there yeah yeah it wow. was really cool <laughs> that's awesome yeah, yeah i loved how it came out it was thanks, super man. cool thanks. um and then the last thing so yeah you've gotten millions of plays on spotify you played tropicalia toured the country done all these great things with the Catuoso project um before your debut album is even out in the world which is crazy uh so what to you is like your proudest moment so far in the katsu project i've had so many it's kind of hard to just pick yeah. point one you know yeah like, the tour i feel like or even just any tour in general like when i first toured it was just a crazy experience you know i never thought i'd be able to play my music outside of montebello <laughs> yeah <laughs> like yeah. we're just playing house shows we never really played anything else so that was just like wow we're yeah. here or when we were like across the the states you know we're like why are we in new york right now like, this is crazy <laughs> like what yeah yeah that's awesome yeah. well it's well deserved and i'm sure it's gonna keep going thanks man gotta get over to uh where next london maybe go overseas <laughs> one day hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah um well yeah dude thank you so much for being here i'll put all your socials and everything in the description of the video Thanks, but man. uh was there any other shout outs or anything else you wanted to mention before we signed off uh shout out to my team cosmica love them hell they're yeah. over there <laughs> <laughs> great people yeah awesome cool. sweet well, thanks so much for being here stay tuned go listen to color now actually Watch this uh, performance of Cats Well So and then go listen to Color. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's Cats Well So and you're watching Chad's Home. This next song is called Kiss You Better. Don't you cry. 
right I'll stay with you till the morning light Cause girl you know I'm just that kind of guy And I hope that it's true Baby I can kiss you better What exactly do you see in him? I can kiss you better What exactly do you see in him? Don't you say that I'm wrong Try and explain that to my heart Cause I know you don't really like him anyway Although you talk about him every day Enclosed in his arms now Girl, I'll treat you better I'll kiss you better I can treat you better I'll kiss you better